Neurons allow the brain and body to communicate by relaying sensory information and motor commands as electrical signals. There are four steps to this process. Let's go through each one. Structures of the nervous system, brain, spinal cord, peripheral nerves, and ganglia are formed from nervous tissue. At the cellular level, this tissue consists of neurons and neuroglia. Neurons are the message carriers which transmit sensory signals and motor commands, while neuroglia support the neurons and other structures that supply and surround nervous tissue. Astrocytes, the most common neuroglia in the brain, surround capillaries, maintain a barrier between the bloodstream and the neurons, and actively control what gets through that barrier. A typical neuron consists of a cell body, or soma, that has many branches called dendrites. Signals received by the dendrites affect the electrical charge of the cell body, determining the likelihood of an action potential. If the soma is depolarized enough, then the axon hillock region initiates an action potential that travels down the tail-like axon. The electrical signal zips down the axon terminal where it branches, then releases neurotransmitters, which have an excitatory or inhibitory effect on their target, such as other neurons, glands, and organs. The long cylinder of the spinal cord consists mostly of bundles of axons that extend up and down to carry signals to or from the brain. In a spinal cord cross-section, the axon pathways appear as white matter surrounding the gray matter of the neuron cell bodies. The white matter forms three columns on each side of the spinal cord, the posterior, anterior, and lateral columns. Distinct neural tracts run through these three columns. Each tract consists of axons that carry similar types of signals in the same direction. Ascending tracts carry sensory input upward to the brain, while descending tracts send motor commands downward to the body. When an electrical signal reaches the axon terminal of a neuron, it stimulates the release of special chemicals called neurotransmitters. These travel across synapses to the other neurons or to target cells, stimulating or inhibiting signals and responses. Acetylcholine, epinephrine, norepinephrine, and serotonin are among the most common neurotransmitters. Some are more prominent in certain parts of the nervous system because they specialize in carrying messages within the brain or between neurons and muscular tissue or other types of tissue. These chemicals are key to the nervous system's regulation of body movement and internal functions. To learn more about your anatomy, visit visiblebody.com.